Hey guys, it's Epic Gamer on I'm five here from more Game Dev Tycoon. So let's see, we we last left off with League of I'm um, the Legend of Sheik, which out of seven. Yeah, I actually haven't played in like that day, and I actually have another save that I'm using for a non let's play. Remember I told you last episode how um how Golden Golden Ball Games that's coming I failed as and all. Well, actually, I mean another one called that, and I got a bit into it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, research, I'm just gonna check new topics. Nah, nothing really that'll strike our interest. Okay, so what game? Okay, video has confirmed. Okay, I'll read them this time, just because even though none of you have even seen the video yet, at the time of recording, I haven't compressed the video yet. Okay, so industry news. I just realized something. Could you guys have heard me? Because my mic was actually kind of far away from me. Anyways, industry news. Today, Vayner has confirmed recent rumors about a new gaming console and announced the Master V. The company claims the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TES by Invento and plans to release soon in the coming months. In the coming months. Good for them. Let's see, so game history. I think Game Pert, Pert Tycoon. Okay, so Game Pert Tycoon? I suppose we'll make a, um... Wait, what? What are- Oh, we're generating game reports, geez? What does that do? I've never actually seen that. Okay. Oh, nice. So this is how I figure out what- Okay, platform genre match. Nice, that's actually pretty good. Oh, that makes sense now. Oh. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. Pays off to generate a report for each game that you release. Okay. Oh, now I want to look at the research menu for the first time. <laughs> Oops. I guess I'll just generate a game report for all three of these. Yep. I just found out about game reports now, I swear. Just check out how some of this... Uh, Dungeon RPG is a great combo. Artificial intelligence does not seem to be... Yep. And then generate a game report for Star Invaders. I did not know this would actually that did. And that's actually a good way to earn more research points. I just... Well, now you know. Did that just change from a 2 to a 3 last second? I think it did. Numbers change in this world. Okay. Nice. So this actually can help us out a bit. Let's see, so... E plus plus... Okay, so we don't know about how they go with young audiences, or, um, what about, um, what about a, um, action, I mean, or, what about a adventure, uh, a, um, hang on, right, not an airplane, what about a war, Wall simulation game for sure audiences, I guess. Called called Wall and Disorder. Wall and and Disorder. Pick a platform for the um PC, I guess. Yep. Simulation is pretty good on PC, so. Let's see, so this could actually, this actually helps us out making future games. Let's see, so simulation, stories and quests can go way down. Gameplay goes up. I think engine will be most important in a simulation game. Please almost be a good combo though. Today, the new game port platform Master V by Vena has been released. Hmm. Yeah, nice. That's actually, so that's actually how I, um, that's how... Oh, level design. Um, uh, okay then. So level design's good. AI could probably go down. Dialogs could definitely go down. So level design is apparently a good one for a simulation game. Stop scratching your head. Haven't we gone over this before? Stop scratching your head and get to work on making ground making games. Oh, nice. What's well, sure. Let's just give you an interview. It's great. Thank you for your time. The interviews later in the game that you actually get to answer actual questions about them, which I find pretty cool. Let's see, so world design probably go down a bit. Okay, hi GG. Oh, nice. 
Master V, Lavena. Okay then, nice, nice going. Nice going, Epic Gamer 095, also known as me. <laughs> I mean, obviously you know Epic Gamer 095 is if you're watching this video. I mean, all you have to do is check, check what the name of the channel you're watching is. Let's see, so Epic Gamer 095. Well, let's generate a game report for this. First reviews, Law and Disorder came in. Oh, not bad, not good. They shouldn't forget about dialogues. It's a fucking simulation game. Why do I need dialogues in a simulation game? We're always fans of this, aren't we? At least we're learning from our mistakes. We're learning from our mistakes, Hunter. I mean, not, not Hunter. Damn it, I just have a name. Law and Simulation. It's gonna be a good combination. Sound seems to be not very important for this type of game. Topic audience. Mature law. Bad. Thanks for the insight. Let's start research on a custom game engine now. Now we're losing fans. Great, just great. Just 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 fucking great. That just just law and disorder. It's a good combination all. Just it's not good for mature audiences. I thought it'd be good for mature audiences because younger kids might not understand how government works. Game tutorials and mono sounds. We'll, we'll develop a new game and uh, let's make it a. No, it doesn't work well with mature. That's a good thing to note for the future. Hmm, let's see. So, what about a school? Or actually, how about this? Let's make an air. Let's make the uh, airport. Airplane simulation game. Great combo. For um. Let's see. So let's call it Airport Tycoon Two. Air, Airport Tycoon 2 for the uh, PC with um for young audiences. And hand, it was for the TS actually, with young audiences. That's what it was. We're gonna make our own engine soon, also. Let's see, so engine up, yep, yep, yeah. We just made a simulation game, so at least we know this kind of stuff now. Here's such available casual games. Yes, we can make Prison Architect long before it was actually made. Level design's good, AI can go down. Yeah, I think we can keep most of the stats the same. We got up to our 64. Yep, I I predicted this. That's why I stuck with PC this whole time. We wanted people to keep on playing our games for decades and decades and centuries and millennium. Unlike and keep on making new games for all that time. Unlike Nintendo. If you haven't heard the news, by the way. If you haven't heard the news, by the way, Nintendo is actually might a is actually having financial problems lately. They've been having financial problems lately if you haven't heard the news yet. So, so basically, they need like, and it was probably due to the um, Wii U. Also, I would recommend watching Game Theory to hear about this also. That's actually where I first found out about this. That and launch the next day. <laughs> Level Editor. Nice, let's see. How well does this one do? Okay, first review is Airport Tycoon 2. Nice! Yeah! Eight? 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 Eight, come on, eight, 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 eight across, yes, eight, eight's all across the board, nice. Oh, nice, the, the game line. This is going to be really good for making young, young games for young audiences. Oh, nice, this is doing pretty well. Airport Tycoon is doing pretty well. Let's first of all, research casual games, going to take our, pretty much all our research points with Actually, I kind of want to get a new engine up soon. You know what? We could, we could, let's just get casual games. I mean, they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like awesome later on. We can't go without them. So, yep. Oh, you know what we should make? We should make this game. We should make Game Dev Tycoon. We'll make Game Dev Tycoon. Game Dev Tycoon. Game Ty Tycoonception. Generate game port on Airport Airport Tycoon Two. Okay, now my friend, my friend Mike, is playing Dota 2. Game gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. Platform audience, young, TES, great. So that means young games are good for the TES. Develop a new game. Let's see, games for young audiences are good for the TES. That's good. Okay, so let's make a um, make a casual school game. Um. Let's see, what should we call it? Um, the 
first grade. And we're gonna go all the way. We're gonna make 12 sequels this game. And we're gonna make 11 sequels this game. No, we're gonna make 15. That would include college. So let's see. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to acquire a license. So, first grade for young audiences. Two graphic version one. Let's see. So, gameplay up. No, 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 wait! I forgot it wasn't a simulation game. I was because th I was thinking in my head that 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 I should, could have possibly made this a simulation. What was I? I still just wrap dialogue just slightly. Airport Tycoon 2 is now off the market. We're doing pretty well for a uh, indie game. There's like this one big break game that we're gonna get eventually. That like that like sells like hundreds of thousands of units. And I'm guessing some of my friends are on a Skype call right now. Let's see, so sound up and yep, that sounds good. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I'm guessing they're in a Skype call right now because normally multiple of them are on Dota 2 at the same time. That means they're all going on. Yep, they're in a Skype call. Definitely in a Skype call. Um, I kind of want to go message them, but the only thing is though, they're they're actually um. Yeah, the only thing is I'm recording this video. Oh, nice. Better user experience and marketing. Falls a bit short. The focus on graphics serves the game very well. Casual games work well on, on game like quirky but good. Nice, this one this is actually a pretty good seller. It's pretty good. So um yeah. Hey yeah, guys, you know what? I'm gonna finish this episode here. I'll see you in episode number three. So, um, see ya.